happy Thursday, everybody. We're, uh, I'm heading to Janesville, Wisconsin, to my office down there. And I wanted to do a live while I'm in the car. I'm not driving. Do not worry. Somebody else is driving the car. So I'm not going to die. I promise. Um, what tractor did you drive first? Everybody's got a memory of their grandpa or their dad or their uncle or their brother driving a tractor. I want to know what tractor you drove first. I think my first tractor I ever drove was probably like a WD-45 Alice Chalmers, something on the farm. Um, I grew up in Iowa, Keswick, Iowa. My parents farmed, uh, shoot, I don't even remember. I, Iowa County, Iowa, I think. Pretty sure like Keswick. Like for those of you from Iowa, like that Williamsburg area, Keswick. I went to Tri-County Schools. Um, then I went to Marengo. Then I went to Victor HLV. Now I live in Wisconsin. But I want to know the first tractor you ever drove. Put it in the comments. Um, if you've never driven a tractor, say I've never driven a tractor. That'd be kind of fun. But, you know, we always talk about truck and tractor pulling all the time. But we posted a John Deere antique tractor from Florida unloading off the trailer on Instagram, on our Beer Money Pulling Team Instagram. And it just, like, went viral. And, and all the comments were, hey, I, the first tractor I ever drove was a you know, a John Deere G or the first tractor I ever drove was a B or something like that. It'd be kind of funny. I just want to see in the comments what the first tractor you ever drove was. So I'll put that in the comments as, uh, as we're, as we're chatting here last night, live on YouTube and Facebook, we did, um, did some lives. Liberty truck and tractor pull has an event this weekend. Again, the question of the day is what was the first we did, um, did some lives. Liberty truck and tractor pull has an event this weekend. Again, the question of the day is what was the first tractor pull you ever drove? Or it's not tractor pull. The first tractor you ever drove. Ever drove. We're driving by a Case IH dealer in um, Cross Plains right now. So Case IH is a sponsor of the NTPA and the Outlaws. Thank you, Case IH. So that was a nice little commercial break there. What was the first tractor you ever drove? Put it in the comments. I'm curious to see that. Put it in the comments. It'd be cool to see the first tractor you ever drove. There's some some Kubota tractors. I doubt if that was the first tractor you ever drove. Maybe it was a lawnmower. Anyway, I want to see. I'll take a look at those in the comment. But last night we did a live with um, Ryan Merritt, one of the promoters from Liberty Truck and Tractor Pull, and we talked about his event this coming weekend. Liberty Truck and Tractor Pull in White Plains, Georgia, is nationally known for um, diesels and dark corners. But they have five other events throughout the year. So Antique Tractor start at 3 this Saturday. And then they have the Pedal Tractor races at 6. And then uh, the big stuff starts after that. So that's White Plains, Georgia, for those of you that want to looking for a truck and tractor pull this weekend. And again, the question of the day is, what was the first tractor you ever drove? Put it in the comments. I'm, re I'm really, really curious to check that out. That'd be kind of neat to see uh, the first tractor you ever drove. Was it an antique? Was it a farm tractor? Was it a big farm tractor? Maybe the first tractor you ever drove was a pulling tractor. Now that would be cool. That would be super, super cool to hear that story. Um, also, this weekend, California is having a pull. Cal Poly Tractor Pulling Club. Uh, Sunday, the 16th, out there in San Luis Bowl, California. Trevor Massetti is a friend of mine with the Massetti family, MLM Motorsports, out of California. Their dad, Brian, um, is big in pulling, has sleds. They got a couple. I think they got a mod, got a diesel truck, and then they have a gas truck as well. So, if you're in that California area looking for San Lispo, Luispo, um, I think there's some stuff going on in Arizona this weekend too. Wilcox, Arizona, I think is tonight, Friday. And then I think NHRDA is doing something in Chandler, Arizona as well this weekend. And again, the question of the day is what was the first tractor you ever drove? I, I think that's a heck of a cool question. Type that in the comments and let us know to share that around a little bit. That's cool. And then also last night, we talked to John Bohr live on Facebook. And you can listen to our podcast if you're on iTunes or Spotify, guys. Uh, look up Let's Grow Pulling. Let's Grow Pulling. It'll be under Beer Money Pulling Team. We have three to four shows a week. We do them live on YouTube, Facebook. And then we take the audio. And Mackenzie, who it's Mackenzie's birthday today. Mackenzie is one of our uh, full-time social media creators, digital creators, content creators, all kinds of different names there. She works for us full-time at the Beer Money Pulling Team. Um, she's 24 today. So if you see us at the polls and you see her, it's Mackenzie and she's always doing video and stuff like that. Again, the question of the day is what was the first tractor you ever drove? So we did talk with John Bohr last night from California. He's got a pro modified four wheel drive truck called code three. He's a firefighter 
And he also, um, he's linked up with Fire Department Coffee out of Rockford, Illinois. They're the official coffee of the NHRA. And um, they're doing that. So they have a big setup at the drag races in Vegas this weekend. And they invited John to bring his pulling truck down because his pulling truck is an old fire truck from the fields. I don't, I forget. I think it's like a 1962 something, but you can check out code three pulling team on TikTok, um, on Facebook. But if you're going to the drag races in Vegas this weekend, uh, look for John, stop by, take a picture with the truck. That'd be really, really cool um, to do that. Again, question of the day is what was the first tractor you ever drove? Again, mine was, I'm pretty sure, a WD-45. I'm 47 now. I probably would have been three or four on the farm in Keswick, Iowa with Dad. Um, I always I always liked riding um, in the cab with the tractor when he was plowing or disking. I'd run home, get home from school and just run straight to the field in the spring this time of year as he's planting and getting crops ready or getting the fields ready to plant crops. Also, if you want a Beer Money Pulling Team hat or t-shirt, head over to BeerMoneyPullingTeam.com, click on Beer Money Gear. We have some two for 25 shirts right now and we have some big rig tees so if you're a truck driver or you like big rigs we'll get some really cool t-shirts that we're trying to uh, clearance sale out right now just some leftover inventory as we head into the season be sure to check that out also um one of our uh, partners is kawasaki parts warehouse.com or power sports warehouse.com and they're doing 10 percent off right now at their website so if you're looking for some utv atv dirt bike accessories or parts go to power sports warehouse.com Kawasaki parts warehouse.com. That's all the brands at power sports warehouse.com save 10% with the coupon code beer money 23. So that's something that's really cool as well that they're doing with us. Um, and then our next two uh, pay-per-view live streams at beer money TV. We will be in Columbus, Texas, May 5th and 6th. And then Glencoe, Kentucky for the Hansel Sullivan Memorial poll on May 12th and 13th. So again, that's Donnie Sullivan's, um, their family there, Wayne Sullivan. You guys all know them if you follow the modified class. Very, very, very well known. The Kentuckian modified tractor. Again, today's question is, what is the first tractor you ever drove? The first tractor you ever drove. So, um, kind of cool. Kind of cool to check that out and see all the comments from everybody coming in. Thanks for doing all of that. Um, what else? If you don't follow us on your YouTube or Facebook, please do. Um, we do a lot on TikTok as well. Obviously Chandler Pickler and uh, Mackenzie Thedean. It's like I said, it's Mackenzie's birthday day. She, there are two full-time social media content creators. Doug Borth is our general manager. Doug focuses on sponsorship and event promotion. So what uh, beer money pulling team is a business uh, and promoters, fair boards, pulling teams, um, companies hire us to run their social media for them uh, to promote their pulling event, to promote their pulling team. So if any of you have any interest in that, please just reach out to us. Um, send us a message here on TikTok, Facebook, whatever. We will hook you up with that. So thank you for all the comments today on what was the first tractor you ever drove. Having a lot of fun with that. We really appreciate that. Um, thank you for, you know, watching our content, having fun with us. We will see you soon. Pulling season is going to be crazy. We're doing all of the Outlaw events this year on outlawpulling.tv for all of you pay-per-view and live streamers that want to check that out. And uh, we do a lot of stuff on TikTok as well and Facebook and YouTube. So head over to beermoneypullingteam.com, get a t-shirt, two for 25 is a sale going on right now, beermoneypullingteam.com. So thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget the Pullers Championships, May 19th and 20th in Nashville, Illinois. We invited the top competitors from the major pulling associations and the rest of the classes are voted in by fan votes. And all of the money from the gate and the live stream goes back to the Pullers. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. It's 82 degrees in Wisconsin. That means it's probably going to snow next week. So thanks for watching. And as always, let's grow pulling. Have a good day, guys.